Hey, I'm Paul Stachnack from Butterscotch.com and welcome back to How to Why, our continuing series on the Nintendo Wii. And in this episode, we're going to teach you how to use the dashboard, get you acquainted with it, and show you some tips and tricks for how to maneuver it. So let's get started. So here we have a fresh dashboard. This is brand new, as you can tell, we don't have a lot on it. And you're going to see these, these rectangles here, and these are basically channels. This is the this is what houses the apps for the Wii. The Wii basically is sort of app-based. So as you can see, we have a whole bunch of apps here, and these give us various functionalities. So for instance, up here, we have the game disc channel. This will basically house the current game that's in your uh, DVD slot. Here's the Me channel. You can access your Me. The News channel, you get access to news, and so on and so forth. If you buy certain games, they may come on with an additional channel that loads on into here. Likewise, if you go into the Wii Shop and buy virtual console games, they'll show up in those slots as well. Down here, we have the time and the date. This is pretty straightforward. And in the bottom right corner, we have a button for the Wii Message Board. And if you click this, it takes you to an interface where you can check your mail and also your daily game stats. To create a new message is simple. Go down, hit New Message. Here you have an option between a memo, a mail, and your address book. If you click on the address book, it's going to give you your Wii console number. Now, this is how people find you in the Wii world. To add a Wii console number, and if we go over to the right side here, we're going to have an arrow. You're going to see our address book is currently empty, but if we were to click on it, we could actually add our Wii friend's number in there. They'd have to, on their console, also add in our Wii number, and when the two of those register and, and the requests are accepted, then we'll be friends and we can send each other mail. And if we go to the calendar here at the bottom left, as you can see, Basically, you can check the days that you've played and the various pieces of mail you've gotten. To go back to the Wii menu, go back to the bottom right and hit Wii menu, and now we're back to the dashboard channel. Over here, we have the SD card menu button. If you click this, it's going to take us to the interface for our SD card slot. Now, if we had an SD card in here, we could uh, back up virtual console games and other programs and other apps into here. As you can see, again, we have the rectangles that denote channels. Uh, at the moment, we don't have an SD card slot in here, so we can't do a whole lot with it. Mind you, if you want to learn about how this channel works, at the bottom right, you're going to see this little question mark icon. If you hit that, it's going to bring up uh, the basic rules of how this, this, how this panel works. So we're going to hit back, and again, bottom left, we're going to go back to the Wii menu. Now that we're in the Wii menu, we're going to go to Wii Options. It's the bottom left. And this is basically your hub for all your various management settings for the Wii. So in Data Management, here we can access our channels. For instance, any additional channels that we download or add, they'll be available here, and we can delete and, uh, and, and, uh, and move them to our SD card if we'd like to. And as you can see, all this is determined by blocks. That's your memory usage. I'm not exactly sure how blocks works, but that's how they, they, they calculate that memory. And here under Save Game Data, if you click on this slot, you'll have options to all your Wii Save Games. And if you have a Nintendo GameCube car card in your Wii, if you click on this, you're basically going to be uh, able to access all your old Nintendo GameCube files and, again, manage those. As you can see, we clicked on Wii Management. We don't have anything in there currently, so it's just going to be empty. If we go over to Wii Settings, this is going to be our basic settings for our console. So a lot of the stuff we covered already, console, calendar, this is the time and the date, screen size, sound. And we have parental controls if we want to change or add or remove them. Here's our sensor bar settings. We've already covered those. And uh, we'll be covering these later. This is for the internet and Wii Connect 24. So look out for a future episode where we're going to go through those. And in this other page, we have our language settings, our country settings, the update, in case there's an update for the system. And if we want to format the Wii, we can click that option there. I don't recommend that unless you want to sell it, per se. So we're back on the Wii menu. And I want to show you something neat. So you may notice that there's a lot of free blocks here. And basically, this allows us to add new stuff or move channels. Now, if you look over here, we can actually go over to the left and right. There's these arrows. And they're going to allow us to move from page to page. There's about 47 extra slots available with the exception of the Wii game channel. So what we can do is we can highlight a channel we want to move. For instance, we're going to move the uh, weather channel. And you want to select the channel with A and B. So if you look at the back of your remote, there's a B button there. And in the front, there's an A. If you hold those two simultaneously, it's going to grab the channel. So here we go. We're going to pick it up. And see, now we can move it wherever we want. You can see that the rectangle that we can drop it in is going to highlight. If we wanted to move it to another page, just simply highlight it over the arrow and it's just going to move the page automatically. So there we go. We've moved the uh, forecast channel into the background, and now we can move our news channel, and for any games that we, and such that we can download, we can position them wherever we want. So there you go. Your dashboard's all set up and ready to go. In the next episode, we're going to show you how to set up your me for the first time. Until then, check out the show notes at butterscotch.com. We'll see you again.